you are going to continue to show all that you know about polygons and shapes by creating a geometry town. Let's read the task. It says, congratulations, you are Geometry Town's new city planner. Your job is to draw a map to plan for a new neighborhood. First, your group must agree on a general map of this new neighborhood. Make a sketch of it. Here's what your town must have. Four streets that are parallel to each other. One road that is perpendicular to all four parallel streets. One avenue that intersects at least two streets but is not perpendicular to them. And then it needs to have these 10 buildings. Two different shaped red buildings that have at least one right angle and at least one set of parallel lines. Two different shaped green buildings that have at least one obtuse angle. Two different shaped blue buildings with no parallel or perpendicular line. A building that is a polygon with two lines of symmetry. You can decide on the color of these two buildings. When your group has agreed on a general idea for the neighborhood, then you're going to take your rough sketch and plan and make the map on grid paper. You can cut out strips of paper to represent the roads and the avenues, and then you can cut out buildings from colored paper and glue them on your map. If you don't have paper, then you can just draw directly onto your grid paper. Be sure to name all the streets, roads, avenues, and buildings after famous women and men. Here's an example for some inspiration, but let me show you some student examples as well. In these examples, you can see the parallel roads, the perpendicular road, and the road that intersects, as well as all different types of buildings that are fall into the shape requirements. This is another really good example, except for this student did not follow the color direction. So all of your buildings should not be red. They should be different colors. Again, be sure to read through the instructions to see which color different shapes should be. If you need help in this unit, I recommend looking back at all of our definitions that we started in the beginning of the unit. Let me show you what those look like. You should have this document and your document should have the actual examples that we worked through together as a class, but it will help you out with all the different types of angles and lines, especially for your streets that need to be parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular. And then you also should go back to our previous lessons if you want more support on the different polygons and quadrilaterals to see their names and what kind of properties they have. Good luck on your geometry town.